Hey guys, uh, it's BNSF Real Fans here, and uh, we have a quick layout update for you. Um, there's not much to cover in this one, so it'll be kind of brief, but as you can see, uh, the major change that we have here is the road. Um, last time you saw it, we just had the road markings down. We hadn't even masked it off or anything, um, but we poured the road yesterday with uh, Smooth It, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. We just got the rest of the grade crossings in. Um, it's still a little wet, so we need to file it down or sand it down some, um, but I think it looks pretty good. As you can see, we stopped the road about there um, just because we don't have enough smooth it for one thing. And the other thing is that we don't have all the buildings, so we still need to kind of map out um, exactly where the road's going to go. And that'll probably happen next summer, but it'll basically take a angle out that way, so um, it'll just kind of go off the edge of the table there. Um, and yeah, we'll go take a look really quick at the overpass, because uh, we painted that. And we got to do some weathering and add some uh, graffiti to it, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, oh, sorry. So, I don't know. It looks pretty good. I like the way it turned out. Um, you can see there's still some, like, gaps here and there, um, like on this side, that we need to fill in with uh, um, some, like, ground cover. And we'll probably shove a few pieces of foam in there just to mask it off and kind of hide it. So you can see that's, like, open on the end of there. Um, but once we get the scenery down, it should... Uh, should look pretty good, so um, that's what we did here. You want to talk about the oh, yeah, scenery? Oh yeah, Nasty the Ace guy on YouTube. He commented saying um, we should put graffiti on the over our underpass overpass. Yeah. And we have the decals right here. Those are gonna be going on probably today uh, when we get around to it. And yeah, I just wanted to put that in there. Yeah. Scenery. Uh scenery. yeah, scenery wise, what we did, we added those grass tufts that we showed you guys in the uh, last update. We put those around the layout. Um, I really like it. It's like a small detail, but it adds like dynamics to feel. The scenery lacked kind of different variety uh, before. It was just all these like underbrush or whatever. So now it kind of pops. Um, and we plan to do more of that as time goes on. We'll just keep adding different stuff into the scenery and yeah oh and then he's showing you right now we also put in a little strip of dirt and weeds and stuff between the light post and the yard um that's like a small detail but like i, I really think it sets that whole scene off yeah um so you show the lights we're going to be putting on some of this type of tall grass and be playing with that yeah so i'll kind of create our own tufts with that yeah. just stick them around the layout we already started right here last summer. Yeah, you summer. can see a couple. Oh, uh, okay. Well, whatever. Um, what else? What else? What else? I'm trying to think. Well, uh, we did some weathering, as you can see on the track. You probably noticed oh, yeah. that. Um, can't really see it on the main line right now because I have uh, a bunch of cars on it. Uh, but if you, I'll kind of come around here. You can see it better. If you kind of get like low, you can see how the track's darkened. I think it looks pretty good. We just used a large makeup brush like this. Um, with some dark weathering powders and then uh, just rubbed it along the track and as you can see in the engine facility I got a little heavier weathering. Um, there's some like sand spills here and there usually or not usually but sometimes you'll see that in like main yards and stuff and that's just like different commodities that have spilled but you see it a lot in engine facilities too because of uh, like sand filling and sometimes extra sand gets spilled here and there. Um, I don't know how they do that but it happens I think. And we also weathered the actual uh, fueling pad. Um, yeah, I really like how that turned out. Yeah, it looks really really grungy. Yeah, I like it. And there are some like oil spots there. And then also in this one, um, oh crap. we did a little over here as well, as you can see, a um, few spills. And then also uh, we put a couple weeds in there just because it's an older facility um, that's kind of for secondary use now. Um, I think that's it. I told you it was going to be pretty quick. I think this might be our fastest video ever, um, besides the uh, intro video, or the uh, kind of preview, but I think that's about all we have right now. Uh, we have a bunch more videos coming your way, and we did some brainstorming on what we're going to do. Someone has to do maybe a uh, locomotive programming demo, so we might do that. Um, we're going to do a running video for sure. We're trying to get that in today, um, as well as another update, um, because the next step now, we'll be finishing the scenery in here, working our way up uh, to the, uh, on the mound over there, painting this, uh, letting that dry, then putting striping, and then we're going to work the scenery um, along the outside, all the way around, around the table, 
Um, we're also going to ballast all the remaining track, yep. um, except for where the grade crossing will be. I yeah, think. yeah, and then we're going to finish up. We're going to pull up the scenery to here, uh, kind of touch up the scenery back in there by that building and such, and um, try to finish up. I think I already said that. Finish up that propane facility, and then paint the road. Yeah, because you saw we kind of flipped the orientation there. I think originally the tanks were down here. And the building was over there, but we flipped it because now we'll have a little access road um, off the main road, so there can be parking on this side instead of having to cross the tracks and park. And if then you want to throw it way back, it used to be only one track, and the yeah. facility used to be on that side where those other tank cars are. Yeah, so yeah, that's uh, where we're at right now, and we'll have another update um, to you guys very soon as we uh, progress a little more. Thanks.